Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the Underground. So we are jumping back into ATAC once again today, and we're going to show you how to use an image overlay to get the internal map of a building. So let's jump over to Google Maps for just a second, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are in Google Maps, and this is uh, inside one of my favorite locations of all time on the planet. This is the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. I picked this one because this is a nice, good uh, public place to go visit, and it's pretty easy to see on the Google Maps. So if I go over here to Google Maps, you can see it's right here, very public. And if you go Street View down here, you can actually look on the inside of the Smithsonian and walk around the museum and tour it virtually, which is pretty neat. Uh, but for our functions today, we're going to use this museum and the, the uh, layout as sort of a proxy to show you a feature of ATAC. So if you ever go to a place like this, one of the very first things that I do is look for the fire escape exit or a map of the building. Now, of course, the Smithsonian being a museum has maps that you can get from the visitor center down below. But let's just assume today that, you know, we've never been here before and we're walking around and lo and behold, we can go around here and check and see there is a map right there. So there is a map right there on the wall. And look at that. That's pretty neat, isn't it? So what we can do is zoom in and we can see all of the different exhibits. And since the Smithsonian has a very unique uh, building uh, construction, this allows us to illustrate this in ATAC a little easier. So what I can do is make sure that I'm sort of centered on it very nicely right here. And I can go down to my handy dandy snipping tool and I can snip this map right here. Now, of course, I've got my icon uh, right there in the middle of that map, but you know, right here. So this is not an ideal version, but when I import it into ATAC, I'll show you the one that I took earlier where I actually took some time to center it. Uh, what you're going to want to do is if you go into a building and you see a map on the wall, take a picture of it, but make sure to take it as straight on with a 90 degree angle as possible. It makes this a whole lot easier once we jump into ATAC. So I'll go ahead and save this and we'll jump over to ATAC and I'll show you how this all works. All right, so here we are in ATAC, and I have found the Smithsonian building uh, on the map. So this, uh, once again, I downloaded imagery ahead of time so that you can see the building. Now, as you can see, this image is not a nadir image, a nadir image, N-A-D-I-R. Nadir imagery is taken directly straight down uh, at a 90 degree angle. And as most people know, uh, Nader imagery is, is kind of hard to find a lot of times. So as you can see here, the building is kind of off, off kilter a little bit. This is the side of the building, whereas on this side you can't see the side of a building. So it's not a perfectly straight down shot, but it will work for our purposes. So what we're going to use is called is a tool called Rubber Sheets. Now, if you're familiar with the ATAC uh, app, you will easily find Rubber Sheets as, as, as part of the menu dropdowns. However, on WinTAC, it's actually hidden. It's a hidden feature of uh, WinTAC, so it's kind of hard to find. So let me show you where it's at. You go to Overlays and let that load for just a second. Uh, once again, my computer is kind of slow when running the uh, screen capture software. Uh, but here we are in in uh, imagery overlays. So what we're going to do is go to over here on our overlay manager, click imagery overlays. As you can see, I've got a couple of random ones here loaded already. But what we're going to want to do is click this little edit icon. And really, this is the disguised button. It doesn't necessarily let you edit. It allows you to create KMZs from an image, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to click this button right here. And as you can see, I have the, uh, the, Im the import manager over here. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of this overlay manager just so that I can have a little bit more screen space. And what I'm going to do is zoom out just a tad because I've already done this just to show you. I'll zoom out just a tad on my image here. And I'm going to go uh, import this image. So click the file and then I will load where it is stored. Uh, in this case, it's right here. Uh, I actually did this, try this a couple of times, so we're going to load in the second attempt. A little bit better of an image, and you can see it's quite a large image. 
So this drops it right on the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to monkey around with it a little bit. You can drag the corners in here to reshape and resize it. So I'm going to shrink it quite down a little bit. Let's see here where my Smithsonian at right there. Bring this corner in as well. Now we can zoom in. So as you can see, when that image came in, it is it is very, very opaque. You can't see through it. So I'm going to reduce that just a little bit so that I can sort of line this up. And as you can tell, me bouncing this back and forth in uh, every imagery analyst's favorite thing to do, bounce things back and forth like this, you can see that these four little uh, alcoves here are actually on the other side. So I have to flip this image around, rotate it by grabbing this right here. And now it's starting to look a lot, a lot more familiar, right? So let's zoom in a little bit and let's grab and see if I can match this corner to this corner of this building here. Let's do this. We're gonna have to do this quite a few times. So don't worry. We're going to match up these corners. So you see how it's starting to take shape. All right, bring this one in as well, and let's bring in this final one right here. And let's double check, make sure our corners haven't moved. This one moves slightly. I'm going to bring that back in just a tad. And as you can see, the the uh, the imagery that we have does not uh, is not straight up and down. Uh, it's not nadir, so this is this is why your your mapping is going to be slightly off. So like right here. I don't know if you can see this on your end, but uh, there's just a slight discrepancy of maybe just a couple of feet, maybe, maybe a meter or so right there, and also right there as well. And you can see it kind of, the, the wall is a little bit off, but for you know just walking around a museum, this is pretty good. So let me bounce back and forth just again, just to make sure that we're, we're looking at the right thing here. And of course, if you load this into PowerPoint, uh, you can crop out a lot of this gray area so that you, you just have the interior of the building. Um, or you can use another cropping tool, whatever. So I'm going to do this. Now what this does, this tool within WinTAC, this will create a KMZ, or really a, a KML, of this image and geo-reference it so that you can load it into whatever else you want. And in this case, we're going to load it right back into WinTAC. So what we're going to do is go over here to the bottom right and click Export KMZ. I'm going to export it and we're going to save it wherever we're going to save it. I already have this saved, so I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to exit this out and boom, it's going to disappear. So this is kind of where, you know, once again, uh, as I mentioned before, a WinTAC is not exactly the, the, the best variant of ATAC, um, but it's a little handier for doing fine detailed work like this. So in this case, we're going to import that KMZ that we just exported. It doesn't keep it in WinTAC. It just creates the KM, KMZ or KML. So we're going to go to our import manager this time, and we're going to import a file, and we're going to import that KMZ right there. Okay, we're gonna click open, and in this case, you have two choices here. You're gonna do a KMZ file or imagery. I prefer a KMZ file so that you can change it a little bit easier, but if you're doing something like, say, a drone footage, or you have like a, you know some weather balloon imagery that you get or something like that, you're going to click imagery and that will import it as an image file. But we're going to keep it as a KMZ for now. So go ahead and bring that in. As you can see, there it is. Now let's get rid of this import manager. Now you might be thinking, hey, this isn't clear. It's not. It's very opaque. You can't see through it. So you're going to go to your overlays, and this is why having it as a KMZ was, was important uh, because you can go in here and click uh, image overlays again, and there it is. You can now click this button right here and change how clear it is. So you can go with totally transparent so you can't see it, or you can go with a little bit. I, I like a little a, a measure right there is good for me. And then that way that'll let me know I can still read this on my phone. Um, and then I can uh, do whatever I need to do. This is very handy. You can make it if you have. This is very handy if you have several of these stacked on top of each other. Because obviously the Smithsonian is more than just one floor. This is just the second floor map. So you can have several of these floors uh, in here, and you can make all of them clear but one. Uh, and then if you change once you change floors, you go up a floor, you you uh, turn that floor uh, off and then turn the other floor on using this sliding tool right here. Very handy, very awesome to have, and uh, it, it could be very, very handy. So let's do this one more time. Let's do this with a more something a little bit more common because let's face it, a lot of the places you're going to be going to and, and most places most people go to don't have very handy maps. They're not museums, right? So what about something like a hotel? So let's jump into that right quick. 
All right, so here I am on TripAdvisor, and I just randomly searched for a hotel, and I was able to find this particular one. And as you'll see on a lot of these travel websites, what people will do is take a picture of the emergency evacuation plan uh, for the hotel um, and show you what uh, what the floor plan is, which is very, very handy for us. So if you were going to this hotel, I would advise you know taking a picture or, or any hotel, take a picture of this, and then you can do this in ATAC. So... What I went ahead and did was I took a screenshot of this, I dropped it in PowerPoint and cropped out really the everything except for just this little bit, and we can upload it in ATAC once again. So let's jump over to that. So here we are again in ATAC, and here is the Best Western Cotton Tree Inn. This is the particular hotel. I just looked up the address, converted that to a, uh, a, a GPS coordinate, and created a point just to so I can navigate there a little easier in WinTAC. So let's go ahead and open up our overlays and let's create that overlay right quick go to image overlays this little pencil here that hides the create KMZ from image button and let's select our file in this case it's this one right here that I've already cropped and let's get rid of this so that we could see what's going on here as you can see it's it imports it quite large so let's let's size this down a little bit and See if we can keep it kind of square because this image on um, on TripAdvisor was was quite uh, quite a straight on image, which is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, whenever you're trying to take a picture of a map, always take a picture of the map as as uh, square on as you can. All right, so this one again is rotated, so you can see that right there. And let me go ahead and reduce the opacity over here, opacity, however you say that, and start matching up corners. So this one's a little easier because this image uh, for this hotel was taken very much. Uh, it's it's not Nader because if it was Nader, these these uh, telephone poles here would just be dots. Um, it's going to be almost impossible to find a Nader image. But for most, uh, you know, all intents and purposes, most imagery you're going to find in the civilian world is going to be close, close enough, right? So let's go ahead and start matching these corners up. You can see they had a lot of uh, new construction here. Or what's more likely is this fire map isn't all that accurate. So this is one of the things that you're running into is that a lot of fire maps, they are to scale. They are to scale, but they're not perfectly to scale. And you'll find that out once you start uh, doing this a little bit more often. As you can see here, there was probably a little bit of construction. That corner is definitely the same because that, match, that matches up right there and that matches up. So this was brought in a little bit and this is actually more like what it's like. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to match up the corners here, I'm trying to get it as square on as I can. This looks like it's the most accurate way to do it because we want the width to stay the same. Let's see here. Yeah, this is about as close as we're going to get to an actual thing here. And you can see it, it opens up uh, quite, quite nicely because you can see right here, if I were to turn this overlay off, you can see a door, a little doorway right there, which is probably a way for people to get into the hotel. And as you can see, that lines up perfectly with the stairwell. So as you can see, this is a very, very valuable tool for you to have and know how to do with an ATAC, uh, especially if you're in a hotel or traveling or, or, or going in a building where you might not be familiar with the floor plan. ATAC can very much help you out. And if you have other people in the building as well, well, that just makes it all the better. And, you know, you can't necessarily rely on Google Maps or something like that, which are, you know, derivative of GPS, you know, on WinTAC and ATAC, you can choose your, put, uh, put your spot manually. So you look on the map, see what room you're outside of, put your puck on the map there, and that's where you are. And you can figure out how to get out that way should you need to. So yeah, this is a very handy uh, intelligence collection tool. Um, it's very handy for planning operations and things like that. Even if something as simple as traveling around or going to a museum or going to a building or something like that. And it's very, very handy if you're if you're doing a lot of intelligence collection and you happen to see an image where somebody has been. Well, you can look up that location and find out what the floor plan is, drop it into ATAC, and then there you go. This is now you have interior maps of a place where uh, it's going to be very hard to find interior maps of. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, please drop a like, comment, or subscribe uh, to, our, uh, to our channel here. And make sure to check out our other stuff as well for more ATAC uh, videos. We're going to be doing a lot more of these uh, soon. And uh, yeah, once again, hopefully this was helpful. And as you guys always know it, make sure to fight in the shade.